Are you thinking of starting an online coaching business? But you have no idea where to get started, how to get started, how to get your first client? Well, today in your luck, I'm going to show you how to get your online coaching business started from scratch. Hey, I'm Mark Nelson. I'm a former public school teacher turned to online coaching. And there's a reason for it because I knew I could make a bigger impact in the world being an online coach. So there's two things when people are into coaching, they, they either call themselves a coach or a consultant. So let me kind of clarify and talk about what the two, in my opinion, do. In coaching, coaches encourage people to be the best version of themselves or the best, their business, the best version of itself. Unbelievable practice. Consulting really is telling them how to do it, maybe even doing the work for them. And it kind of goes hand in hand. So when you get started, are you going to call yourself a coach or are you going to call yourself a consultant? In coaching, there's four different ways that you can actually coach. You can do one-on-one, -on -one, which I suggest that's how you get started. You can do group coaching. And then you can do one-to-many. See, group coaching is you might do Zoom calls and just have a group of five to 10 people that you're gonna coach on one particular thing. One to many is usually with a training portal where you're helping people either build a practice or do whatever you're thinking of you wanna help them with. That's what I do. I have a one to many program. I started out one to one, but now I have one to many because I have a training portal and I actually help coaches get their business going. And so I have different modules, different lessons inside that will show you how to get your business started. And I guide you through that, but you can do it by yourself. And then we have masterminds every week. It's just an amazing way to get coached, an amazing way to be a coach. The last one is a big mastermind. And you might've heard of these. Uh, you know, I'm a big fan of Russell Brunson. He actually has three of them. Uh, you know, I don't know their name. I think the first one's called is Inner Circle. It's $50,000 a year. And then he has one for, I believe, $100,000 a year. And then he has one for $150,000 a year, right? And people pay it because, one, they get to be around like-minded people. And two, Russell's really gotten the results. So they help those people in different ways grow. Okay, so... I believe you need to do three things to get your coaching business started. One, you need to determine your niche or niche, however you pronounce it, I don't know, which I call it niche. If you prefer niche, I'll, then that's what you prefer. So when you're thinking of a, a niche, what, what you want to do is what are you good at? You know, think about what, what are you good at? Are, are you going to be a health coach, a life coach, a mindset coach, a business coach? What are, you, what are you good at? And then what are people looking for in you? That's kind of how you get to your niche. And, and you know what? You can switch. I mean, I, I've started different journeys in business, I, and I just kind of switch as my life goes. Usually when you find your niche, it has something to do with something you've done in the past. See, in mine's teaching. I mean, that's my skill. I can reverse engineer things. I can put down lesson plans. I can build modules. So that's why I went to a one-to-many coaching program. That's what I do. I teach people. Now, they can either come to me for more help or they can do it on themselves and then just come in on the weekly masterminds. The next one is people always ask me this. Do you need to get to have a certification? I am certified. And I'm working towards another one, you know, as a life coach, health coach, uh, mindset coach. There, there's a lot of different certifications out there. Do you need them? You really don't in the United States. Although in health, you have to be careful because if you're talking about nutrition, I think you need a license to do that. So you, you have to check that out yourself. But when you're doing your niche, get specific, right? Really kind of narrow yourself down there. If you need a certification, you should check that out for yourself. You can get certified real easily. Okay. The thing you want to do is you want to help people in a transformation to go where they want to go, but help them 
transform into something that they're looking for. Okay, the third one. Now, I suggest getting started. I really do. Is I suggest getting started. I think you should start one-on-one. -on -one. Now, some people say start free. And, and that works. But if you're going to start with a free client, structure it so you're going to do, say you're going to do a 12-week program. Actually do a 12-week program with them. Just like they would if you'd pay. So you kind of get used to what's going on. Now, I'm in, right now I'm in a coaching program. All coaches get coached. I hope you understand that. All coaches get coached. So in the coaching program I'm in now, I'm actually in two just finished one. I'm in two, one on helping me build this training portal and helping how I'm watching how he works with coaches. Uh, the other one is I'm going to get certified again. And what we do, we have coaching gyms in there. And what that means is one day we actually have this program. It's by Evan Pagan. So on Monday, he comes in and coaches us for 90 minutes. On Tuesday, he has what's called a coaching gym, and he'll split us up in groups of three and actually gives us something. He doesn't tell us what to be coached on, but he gives us a uh, model of what we should be doing. It's really cool. So I'm coaching twice a week like that, but I've also reached out in groups, and I've asked people, hey, would you like a free coaching session? Or who would like to get on a call and, and trade coaching sessions with each other so we help each other out? Because coaching is really asking, learning how to ask the right questions. To be a successful coach, you have to be a really good listener. So usually when I get on a coaching session, my first question is, well, what do you want to achieve? Where do we want to go? And then I listen. And what I'll do is I repeat back what they say. And then after all that, and I keep, I have a list of questions that I can follow through and I keep them handy to make sure I, I keep myself on track. After that, I say, well, what do you want to avoid? So if it's losing 20 pounds, what you want to do, you want to achieve losing 20 pounds. And I ask that and I ask, well, how important is that to you? Because what the idea of a coach is that they, the person you're working with, actually figures out what they need to do by themselves. And then when you ask, well, what do you want to avoid? Well, I, I want to avoid starting to think about losing 20 pounds and then eating like crazy like I normally do. And I, I just made that up. But, but you want to Figure that. You want to, you want to talk the, where they want to go, what do they not want to do. And then the next one is, well, what's your next step? That's all it is. But you can have a long conversation like that. So here's what I suggest. I got some free resources down below. I actually offer everybody a free call. I gift you a call. And it's at marknelsononline.com forward slash call. Just pick your time and we'll brainstorm. And then I have some other free resources in there. But what I suggest you do is go into coaching, but learn how to coach from the best. I can teach you how to do that. Hey, y'all take care. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe, hit that little bell for that notification. If you're hearing this on my podcast, Follow me on iTunes. Give me a review. I'd love it. You all take care. I would love to help you start your coaching business.